Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Norimic. Welcome back to more Final Crossing New Leaf. Right now, it is September 23rd, 2024, at 4 3pm, and we're gonna get straight into things. See, I'm at work in less than an hour, so I figured, you know what, I would... I'd record a slight little bit of New Leaf. Just for fun. And then I can have it exploring while I'm off there. Um, so yeah, um, it's gonna be a nice chill episode. Um, I don't really know what I want to do. You know, we could... Immediately, though... <laughs> I've been on a roll with the Emerald Rocks. Well, um, not Emerald, Money Rocks even. It's like, I don't know if the game's making a concerted effort to, like, always make them directly may I of sight or not, but it's like, bruh. That was too easy. Oh. I... Like, who did, did... Did I do a good deed for, like, some sort of luck wizard? Is that... Is that what this is? I mean, clearly not, because I ended up missing that in the end, but... You see what I mean? <laughs> just the first like a two well, like two things I see. It's like a fine. Oh, okay, I guess we're swapping something out of. Our <gasps> oh, past me! I love you. Yeah. So if you don't remember, at the end of the last episode, I discovered that in our little um donation box, you know the item box from the island, we had a load of beetles saved. So I said at the start of this episode, I'd take in one of each to um. Just to see if we donated them to the museum yet. And then if not, we'd go and sell the rest. So I suppose shoutouts past me for doing that. I do understand how my brain works. Um, I will usually need jogging on something if I say I'm going to do it next episode. Um, so you see, yeah, go me. Um, I guess we'll check out the museum, see what's going on there. And then we shall we shall continue and we will, we will see what great horizons await us. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, I don't know, actually. I do not know how long those books have been in there. I'm surprised they're still alive, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, how would I have donated them to the museum? Because I had 50 episodes to do it originally. I think. <laughs> I, he, he thinks <laughs> the series ran for 50 episodes before it went on hiatus. But did I choose to donate the bugs in that time? Now that's very lucky. So, I drug my memory to the fact those guys are there, though, because now we... Now, gentlemen, we can get very, 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 very rich. I'm gonna get rich in Animal Crossing, and then I'm gonna get very rich on Shift. Um, it's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm working, um, 5 until 11, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and today is Monday. Did it last night as well. Um, it's, it's not until 11, it's till everybody leaves in the bar area and I can close. Um, but yeah, we, we've got a few competitions on where I work, and it's like, you know, if they hang around and have some drinks, I'm there, and if they all leave, then I did. So, um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be pretty chill. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And while I'm on shift, I, um, I, I, should I admit this on YouTube? Yeah, nobody I know watches these that would snitch. Anybody that I know in real life that could snitch that watches these, they would, they would not. But yeah, but if I'm, like, on a quieter shift, like I think I am, I am. I could get up to some tomfoolery. See, um, my phone, it, it, it's a pretty good one. It's um, a Samsung Foldy one. Um, only the second one they made, but hey, it, it works. It goes. But, um, yeah, well, if, if I'm on a quiet shift, I can get up to some cool stuff. Like, um, oh, 46, what are you paying premium for? Okay, we're going to check that out first. But, um, recently I got back into the habit of, um, using the old survey website I used to do. Um, because apparently now you can't just randomly sign up and get approved, you've got to go through a wait list, but my other account's are already in there. So, so I went to the habit of doing, like, occasional surveys and stuff. Oh, it was all right. But, um, yeah, so, um, on shifts I have got into the habit of, like, doing surveys and stuff, because it's like, you want 15p for me to spend two seconds to tell you which of these website mock-ups you th I think looks better? Alright. <laughs> um, yeah, weird stuff like that. Some stuff I obviously, you know, gotta do on a computer because it's, like, you know, demanding and needs to be download something, but it, it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty chill. It's pretty fun. And, um, you know, it has the, uh, the RAM stamp for approval of something to do on a shift where we're not too busy. You know, if I've done, like, you know, a little bit of cleaning and stuff, it's like, yeah, I'll treat myself to a little bit of extra money on the side, you know, if, say I don't get tipped very well, it makes up for that. Um, but, um, yeah, there's also the other more sinister side, which is... Yeah, the, you know, the, the, the Genshin Impact, the, uh, the Star Rail buttons, they start staring at me, and I'm like, well, well. Um, and, and, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the only reason any of my characters are built in Homeverse games. It's, yeah, you can, that's a shark. Okay, I thought that was a shark. That, that is, in fact, a shark. Yeah, I get to a little bit of tomfoolery, depending on how busy we are. We weren't too busy yesterday, and if the trend keeps, then, you know, I got a few... I, I said I was dressed like a supervillain. I'm about to become a supervillain. That was the easiest fish to catch ever, and I didn't. 
But yeah, it, it should be good. It should be good. You know, I can go on. I can do my dailies. I can do my surveys. I can clean the dishwasher at some point along all that. Great times. Great times. And maybe we may also serve some customers. But like, you know, it is how it is. It is how it is. Uh, so yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, it's good to have this exploding whilst I'm there because then I feel like I'm being a little bit efficient. And then when I'm back, I got a hankering and it's called the hanging romper. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of chugging through the game at a steady pace. I'm sure you guys are probably also on the channel enjoying it. It's like, I got a hankering, man. I got a hankering. I've done, see, I've done the responsible person thing of recording Animal Crossing and feeding, feeding the Animal Crossing children. And now I gotta feed myself by solving some murder mysteries. So, yeah, you know, it, it, there's a little bit of give and take with the show. I, I do need to record GameCube still now I think about it, but, uh, hmm. Uh, they're gonna know, they're gonna know. Uh, I do love how we said a few, literally a few episodes ago, <laughs> when the series came back, oh, it's not gonna be super regular. It's not gonna be regular yet, you know, we're gonna give it time. And, and, when, and we didn't, and we just immediately ramped up episodes immediately. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so we said the first five were gonna be like a reintroductory sort of thing, right, before we kick off properly on like 56 or so. Oh, once GameCube winds down. And that just hasn't happened, I've been doing this in place of GameCube for <laughs> a few weeks now. But uh, yeah, it's enjoying it. I still want to wrap up GameCube, obviously. But part of me is just putting it off. I, I don't know why. Maybe part of me is not ready to say goodbye yet. Part of me wants, kind of. Uh, part of me is like, okay, I kind of want to be rid of GameCube because it means I can move my GameCube back to uh, the shelf it's on. Um, I still do have Shadow of the Hedgehog to finish, but you know. It's like, uh, that, that one's in a weird spot. It kind of fell out of the uh, yeah, you, you, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you fall out of doing something and then you just don't do it for months? That's me. Um, with, 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 with the Shadow series. Um, I have one bad recording I need to redo and I've just never got back around to re-recording it. But I'll make, I'll make it happen now. I still gotta finish that game. Is that I commit to? I'm seeing Sonic Symphony in London on the 28th. So, you know, hey, hey, if any of you are going to there. I'll make sure to bring a pen in case I get swarmed for my autograph, clearly. Um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. It's kind of like a belated birthday celebration. Um, yeah, fun, fun little story. Um, so, I'm, in case you don't know, I was going to originally film my trip to last year's Sonic Symphony, which was also in London, and I chose not to because I thought, you know what, I'm going to live in the moment. I want to chill and vibe. Because in case you don't know, i got a series called Train Travel Steve. We go on trains and stuff and travel somewhere, and it's, you know, it's about the destination, not the journey. It's, it's a nice little series I do. Um, all, the, all the you guys that stick around the lot do tend to enjoy it. Um, and I was like, nah, I'm not gonna film it. And then I went and it was like crazy good. And I'm like, damn, I gotta do a makeup video. So I did like the makeup video where I showed the f videos I took, but it it didn't have like the same narrative. Or, like it was, I don't think it was as good a video I could have done if I'd shot everything rather than just a few concert clips that I used. But I still think it was a good one. But I'm, I, I'm kind of like determined to make this one, um, you know, kind of a makeup one. Doubly so, because one of the people that works on the show commented on that video and that's like, yo, yo. Yo, <laughs> it's getting kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want this one to be good. Because, um, you know, I said, I said in that video, you know, I would go back in a heartbeat should they come back to England. And then they did. Um, but I was on a cruise when the tickets went on sale. I kind of forgot all about it. I knew I was going to be on the cruise, but I had the Wi-Fi. And I was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And the morning of the sale comes, I need, you know, I go down to breakfast. And I have, um, you know, I have the buffet breakfast. It's really nice. And then they go on sale because I'm an hour ahead. So I think they went on sale at 11 a.m. Now, I'm not going to confirm nor deny that some of the friends I'd made on that cruise decided to go for cocktails at 10.30. But I am going to confirm the fact that I'm a very big white weight. So, yeah, I was kind of like drunk off my mind when I got the tickets. So I got very good tickets with heavy difference regards to my bank account considering I was at present on a cruise uh, and I was like oh god how, how okay I haven't even got to my friends if I, they want to come with I really should have but it's like you know uh, how many tickets do I want uh, uh, three <laughs> um and, and literally, uh, this was like in like this is like the most surreal thing because I can I, I should not be able to remember this as vividly as I can but I can I was, like, I was right next to the pool holding pina colada in hand just trying to figure out how many friends would probably want to come three and just like punching it in. and it's like yep go through go through and it went through <laughs> and i should have not been able to get as good tickets as i did given the fact that i was on cruise ship wi-fi forgot the sale had started because i showed up like 15 minutes like i kind of like i got the email through saying hey the sale's open here's your pre-sale code i'm like ah so i should not have been able to get as good tickets as i did because a i was late and b i was uh inebriated but uh yeah, I got the tickets uh, back in May, and I've been looking forward to it since. So it's very good. If you're interested in Sonic, I would highly recommend it. 
Um, so I'll make sure to get a good video out of it this time, though, is that what I'm trying to say. But no, with that said... God, no, that, that one took care of itself, didn't it? Well, I guess, you know, that's not the present. Um, thank you past me for, you know, contributing to the wealth fund. Also, I finished off paying off my homeworm. So, this should maybe get a second floor now, right? Again, yeah, I was like, we just talked about an irresponsible financial purchase, and then here I am buying, um, you know, um, I kind of want to make that work, like, round up, but I don't know. Nah, I I'm just going to put 100k in. I, 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 my brain isn't willing to do the quick maths, even though I know it's, uh, 228. Figure that out now. Yeah, it would have been 1,228. 100,000, even. I like how my bank can't be round, and then it gets ruined by interest, and I have a nice little back and forth. Because it makes me put more in than I would otherwise, I find. Eh. But, let's face the music. Hello, Nook. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's Daniel. So good to see you. Hmm. Well, you've done it. Your home renovation loan has been paid in full. Thanks much. Yes, yes. And your reason for taking care of your financial obligation is your home is not big enough. Hmm. Yes, yes, I understand completely. I can help you build the home of your very large dreams. When you wish to discuss the details further, please come and find me. So, I can do that. Um, I'm not really feeling like I want to redecorate my house. Um, in case you don't know, there's a little quirk where if I agree to upgrade my house with Nook now, I can't say buy a change to my house out of these lot. But if I buy, if I buy, say my mail, a new mailbox or door first, and then do the upgrade, it goes through. Bit weird. Yes, yes, you would like to discuss your home. Yeah, I want to expand. Well, listen, I believe a home would be oh so cozy if we had a second floor. A small showroom with 298,000 bells would be required, of course. Hmm. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Sure. Excellent. I'll put your order in right away. Though it will be fully completed tomorrow morning, so I'm sure you must be very excited. Yeah, when I started this episode, I didn't expect to be recounting tales from the cruise ship and then paying off my home one. This, this series is the one that keeps on giving, I find, but, you know, it is how it is. No, hmm, since we're in a club, LOL, are you... Okay, so in terms of emotions, we have no emotions. I feel as though we should try and fix that. Um, I just want to be rich, so I think we're going to go to our perfect fruit orchard, but I kind of want to go and see Shrunk. Because I can stick him in the thumbnail. I talked about this last episode, but, um, yeah. Okay, one of you has fleas. An eye. Uh, resident flea hater, as has been denoted a million times on this channel by now. We'll send this fucker to Kingdom Come. I caught a flea? Oh no, now I'm itchy. Um, not a new catch, though. What? You found fleas on me? Ah, oh, man, I'm so embarrassed right now. Don't even look at me. Hey, thanks, though. If you find yourself with fleas, I'll gladly be your exterminator. Hey, if you're offering. If you're offering. I, actually, I do need to get my cat. Because I did him on the 25th last month, that lasts for a month. I'm gonna... <laughs> I, got, I, I hate fleas. Case in point. <laughs> I, I hope he dies a very watery and painful death. Um, it's like, bro, they make my cat sad. If anything makes my cat sad, upset, minorly inconvenienced, or in a bit of a mood, okay, I become, I become John Wick. It, it, it simply, his entire essence just possesses me, and I go forth and do things I would not otherwise, in the name of justice. Oh, it's okay. these haven't grown because I recorded literally yesterday. Oops. Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna just simply grab these, and we'll sell, we'll sell the spare one, but... Yeah. Oh, one then. Oh, we need to get our fossils assessed as well. And then look at me. Look at me being on the ball with things. Although, before we head off, we already spoke to Jax, but I'm gonna hurt to again. But Shari as well. Oh, Daniel, one time no see. We live in the same time, but we hardly see each other. Makes me all misty cheeky. And Jax, you should have something a bit more interesting to say? Hey, good to see you again. So, what's going on? Let's talk. Look, a cicada is so sneaky, I can't catch one. Could you get it for me? Nah, I'm not gonna be on that long, so I don't wanna make a promise I can't keep. That's too bad, but if you can't, well, I guess you can't. He, he understands. I like Jax, he's, he's nice. It's a pretty good villager lineup, to be fair, right? Well, you know, I'll give credit where it's to do. It's, it's, a good, it's a good little villager lineup we got. Yeah, I'm still sad over the loss of Cookie. But it, it's good, it, 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 it's good. I'm not sure if anything's inherently gonna be able to beat out our current city folk lineup, because that is stacked. But, you know, it's still good. It's still good. We don't have a time where I'm looking at it and going, yeah, no, we got to bring the exterminators here. <laughs> Which is always good, I guess. But, oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? I brought a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What'd you bring me? This is the marquee music. This isn't the first time I've clocked that, surely. I have no memory of clocking the fact that this music is the marquee music from City Folk in the past. Oh my god, I fake fake City Folk fan 
hang me in the village square on guard. The cool rendition though, I like it. it. It fits the vibe of this place when it's not open. And um, but, yeah, yeah. Fake, fake fan. How, how did I not catch this? Very obvious. Um, but uh, Sherry, don't mind if I do. Uh, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Give, show me emotions. Oh, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Um, then how about I tell you a really good joke today? All right, I have to get ready first, so just wait here a sec. It's even more stupid when you realize this serves the same purpose as the marquee. Seriously, what's wrong with me? Anyway, thank you, thank you. Dr. Strunk is in the house. My shyness joke is just the thing to cure. What ails you? This story's back from before the medicines and I got hitched. Yeah, it was truly love at first sight. So one day I gave it a woman courage and decided to propose to her. Yeah, it went great. Uh, well, the truth is, I, uh, I mean, what I meant to say is uh, I just couldn't spit it out. I was standing there squirming and she looked at me and said, I'm sorry, who are you? It took three months to get up the nerve to try again. Yeah, I respect that. You truly are a man for people. So yeah, what did you think? This is my first time you've seen my shyness joke. Now you can add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your shyness ability and develop your comedic skills. Ah yeah, sure, I'll bust it out if I'm planning to get rejected by one of my villagers. <laughs> but yeah, hey, they got hitched in the end, so... Credit where it's due. He's still pulled. Oh. Also, is it just me who, like, is bothered by the popping of that sign or not? Because, like, bro, the sign, man. I suppose it would block the view of the door if you went down there, but still. It bothers me ever so acutely. Okay, before I go in there... I have a photo from this, don't I? Okay, first of all, I just did 6th of September 2021. Okay, so it's only been... Huh. Okay, that, 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 that's weird to see how I chose to dress then. I see what I was going for. I was going for Mexican wrestler, I imagine, which, you know, success, actually. I can see it. Kind of kind of served, as the kids would say. And yes, it's September 2021. Huh. Should, should I leave a comment? Oh, should, should I leave a comment? Ooh, should I leave a comment? I'll think on it. I'll think on it. I kind of want to leave a comment for future me. Yeah, if future me is to check that out, however many episodes more of this into the future we go. I kind of want to leave a nice little comment. I, I've got one in mind, actually, but I'm going to do my fossils first, and then I'll explain it. Um, but yes. Come on, wake up, wake up, you slow owl. I have fossils that I want to either donate or have assessed. You know, I don't know how far a fossil section is. We could do a little run around if we, uh, if we fancied. Because we didn't fish the other time, so you know we own fossils. Oh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Oh, okay. So I guess... I guess our fossil collection really isn't too, too completed, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. May I for any further resistance, yeah, we'll donate. So, yeah, just the one, but still. Stego tail. It feels like it's probably going to finish it, you know, for donating something this late into the series. What could it be, you're donating the Stego tail? I'm very glad to accept your donation. You yeah, have my thanks, if only we had the other pieces, this fine creature would be complete. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go and take a mental note of the uh, fossils we've got whilst I, like, recount the thing. Because I'm thinking, right, me in the future, what would be poignant? And I'm trying to think, like, what is relevant right now? Uh, Rizzo, you're just chilling, aren't you? You're enjoying the, um, Triceratops? Yeah, close enough, close enough, close enough, close enough. Uh, and if you say it isn't, you're wrong. You're wrong. That's simply how it works. It's my let's play. I get to make the rules about how close I can be. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's looking quite full, to be fair. Um, okay, so the, the shelf of the things that aren't, like, pieces of dinosaurs isn't all there in this time on. But it, it's filling out, but you've still got all the ways to go, which I suppose is good, you know? It means we're not earning too much money from fossils. But, you know, it's, it's still on, well on its way to being completed, which I think is a good sweet spot. You know, every few episodes make it something. And Barbara as well, I didn't realise, is it free admission to the day at the museum, or...? You don't find all this dry, Daniel? Well, I guess I like it too, darling. Yeah, what do you mean, don't you find all this dry? You're the one here! Is there something you wanted? I mean, I guess we can chat in the museum fossil exhibit. You've done a great job helping the museum out with this collection. It's finally become the type kind of attraction everyone in Miss there can be proud of. Oh, well, thank you. Just because of that, Barbara, I'm going to be spurred on to keep making this place even better. Though seriously, why are two of you in here? I... It, again, it must be free admission today. Um, but, um, as that little message, I want to go explain it on Main Street, because I like the Main Street music the most. No, we got to go out this way, that's the wrong. Buddy Maze. Um, but, as, as you may know, I've recently applied for two TV shows. 
Well, so I, I'm in like um, contention for three, but I've recently applied for two. Last the third one was a little back, back. But I've gone like really into watching older episodes of Deal or No Deal because I applied for that. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get my head in the game. And I kind of want to see, because it's only a few months out, but I kind of want to ask Future Me a little bit of a question. I want to simply ask him, did you get on Deal? Uh, actually, I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him. Did 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 you deal? Oh, all the typing things. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll ask future me. Did you deal? I'm gonna see if he clocks that because I think you know, it's like, like it's a future question for me. Did you get on it? And if you did, did you deal? And if so, for how much? Because I think you know that'd be a good. Obviously, there's like probably like an NDA and stuff. So if I go on the show, I can't tell you guys you know, how much I won immediately. Yeah, there'll be signs, but you know, <laughs> if I won big. But um, I think having that, you know, I can pull it up. Probably after the episode's out and what have you. And we can, you know, have, have a little chat about it in this series. Should it still be going and should I ever open that little thing again um, after this point in the series? Oh, that seems, seems, it seems clever, a clicky, clever little use of it. It's relevant to right now. And, you know, it could get a big talking point in the future. Now, Raja Brooke. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's... Right, I guess we'll run back. Yeah, so in case you don't know, this is one of the few things I do remember from earlier in the series that is a rule I would love to stick to, and I'm kind of annoyed that a New Horizons got rid of this. I think. But when you catch an animal for the first time in New Leaf, it says, I wonder why Encyclopedia will say about my new catch. Which is a covert way of saying, okay, you can definitely donate this to the museum because it's the first time you've caught one. I don't think there are other ways around it because you can't, you know, pick up bugs that are outside or inside somebody else's house in a different town. And you're not going to randomly get gifted them, are you? Like, it's yeah, it's kind of a foolproof way to know, okay, I can run to the museum and know this is going to be accepted if I try to donate it. Which is cool. I, I love it. That's, uh, and that was basically the thing I went off, is if I catch something and it says, I will not buy an seat encyclopedia says, we go donate it. Obviously, fossils is different, but for bugs and butterflies, it works. Anyway, thank you very much. No, thank you very much, Blathers. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little um, head cannon that Blathers is the one responsible for that change because it's a very good change. It's a very good change. Oh, <sighs> but yes, that I think is gonna bring us to time. Look at us go. We paid off our home. We talked about my cruise and the uh, Sonic Symphony. We even donated a few things to the museum, and we caught a flea and then drowned it in the river. When I say there is no episode better than this in the series, I'm lying, because there probably is. But you know what I mean? I feel fulfilled. I feel fulfilled. I feel happy. I feel chill with myself. Which is, you know, fair place. Fair place. And I'll, okay, you know, I was going to go and bother somewhere in the house for that, but I guess not. I guess not. Um, right, well, anyway, I'm going to get this ready to export. And um, yeah, I suppose that's the end of this for now. By the way, apologies if, like, you can kind of tell that the export template is a little strung together. Um, so, after doing the outro, you'll be able to see there's, like, you'll be able to see the individual layers and where they get cropped off and stuff. Yeah, the fade in and fade out through so the series all the best. I don't really know the best way to fix it, but... Actually, no, I do. If this episode doesn't look as scuffed as the last one when it fades in or out, it means I fixed it. And I think I know how I can do it, but you guys are going to have to wait until the next episode to find out how I do it. So yeah, keep an eye out. You know, stick until the very end, see if I manage to figure out how I can stop that happening without doing the very obvious trick. But shh, shh, nobody has to know. Nobody has to know, and I'll reveal all next time. So, with that hook in you, that's going to be it for now. So if you have enjoyed it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It does always help a bunch. It lets me know that you do want to see more of this, and all that good stuff. But that's going to be it for now. So until next time, we'll set an all that aside. What do you want, Pippi? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Remick, and peace out. And I'm sorry, Schmoopy? Wow, fantastic. Well, I guess we'll call Schmoopy from now on.